friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here with my Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. Um, and we are having a nice Friday afternoon, early evening. What about all of you? How's it going for you on, on this lovely Friday? I know it's hot all, around a lot of the country. Um, here in San Diego County, North San Diego County right now, um, it's in the 90s today. It's been in the 90s and it's coming down a little bit, but it takes a while for it to come down. I spoke with a friend earlier today in Phoenix and it was 107 around one o'clock today. So that's hot, that's just really hot. And I know many areas of the country are really, really hot right now. And I think it's gonna continue for a while. So we're just here hanging out, making cards with the air conditioner on and the fan blowing. And um, Ellie has a full tummy from her lunch. We ate a little bit late today, so she's got, she's got kind of a full tummy today. But it's so good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you've decided to spend a little bit of time here with us. And I want to talk about what's going on at Stampin' Up! this month. So July is a big month because we're having a huge designer series paper sale. There are nine of the brand new paper designer series papers from the new annual catalog that just went live in June and nine of the gorgeous papers are on special for 15% off each one and you can buy as many as you want. So my favorite of all of them is um, the Yura Peach paper, designer series paper. It is beautiful, but so many other gorgeous ones. And in fact, the ones we're gonna, the two papers we're gonna use today are also on sale. We're gonna use, I'm pretty sure, let me con confirm. Pansy Petals is on sale and in good taste. And we're gonna use both of those today. So welcome, welcome. I, first, I'm going to put Ellie down, and now we're going to chat for just a minute. I'm going to turn my camera down so you can get a good look at the lovely brand new mini catalog. Um, the July to December 2021 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And um, some of us like to mention it as the holiday catalog because it does have holiday products in it. All the you know, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of that. And so we've got lots of beautiful products in here. I can't open it yet. But last uh, Wednesday, I showed you a lot of fun things um, from this catalog. And I'm ready to send out a bunch of catalogs. So if you are, have not purchased from me in the past six months, send, leave me a note down below here, send me a private message, send me an email at peggy at prettypapercards.com and I will get out uh, one of these fabulous new holiday catalogs to you. Hey Pam, good to see you. Hi Kay, just looking to check in and see who's here. And we also have, going along with the release of our new holiday mini catalog, we have celebration. It's the first time we've ever had a celebration mid-year, and that means you get a free gift for every $50 you order. So if you order $100, you can get two free gifts at the $50 level or one free gift at the $100 level. And the gifts are all in this little catalog. So let me know if you want them. I'll get them out to you right away. I'm gonna be sending my catalogs out next week. All right. So today we're gonna to use two new products from the annual catalog that just came out. They do not, they're not a bundle, they do not go together, but I am putting them together because I think they're kind of a natural. And one is called the Biggest Wish Stamp Set. This is a photopolymer, I think. Yep, photopolymer stamp set and it has these large sentiments, thanks, birthday, happy, hello, and friend. And then it has the same sentiments in a smaller font and kind of a cursive font. And I'm gonna show you how these work. This is a fabulous stamp set. I think it's gonna be one that's gonna stay in my collection for a very long time because it has every, pretty much every sentiment you really need for the normal um, occasions in life. 
And then we're going to combine this with the tailor-made tags. This is a new die set in the annual, the new annual catalog, and it makes all these. It cuts all these different sizes of dies, and the tops are different on each one. Let me see if I can get that a little close. Can you see how that top is? Okay, and all of those you have four different sizes with that top. And then this one is kind of straight with angles on both ends. Both have holes in, in the top of the tags, which is fabulous and you're gonna love. But the other thing we've never had before are these little, um, what do they call them? Like a little guard, kind of a little guard. I've had some punched out in advance that I just kind of keep in my little, um, my little jar here where I keep tiny things. And here's what they look like. Can you see that one? A little circle, and that goes on these. And then the ones that go on this die set right here look like this. And it's something we've never, Stampin' Up! has never had this before that I know of. So when you die cut your tag, you can die cut um, the same color or a, or a um, contrasting color of the little, um, Reinforcement, reinforcer, yes. And these these little guys are cut out three at a time. And so it makes just a beautiful die set. And I, I don't really think it's uh, highlighted in the catalog that much, so I want us to use it today. I want you to get used to it and see what you think of it. See, see if you like it. Hi, Linda Brady, good to see you today. And Pam, I think I already said hi to you. So here are your sample cards. We're gonna make two. We're gonna make a feminine and we're gonna make a masculine. Here's the feminine card. And here's the way the tag looks. I'm not using the reinforcements today, um, but I'm putting a bow there instead for the feminine card. And you can see how the stamp set works. You'd put your block letters in a lighter color and your cursive uh, letters or word in a darker color. And then on the inside, I just went ahead and stamped birthday. And then we'll look at the masculine looking card. I could have made it even darker. And here's this one with crumb cake cardstock and the lighter happy and the little bit darker birthday. So let's get started. I'm gonna die cut with you um, so that you can see how these tags work. So we're gonna start out with our card base and today I'm going to make a card base that flips up. So it's 11 by four and a quarter reinforcements. Yes, thank you so much, Kay. Those words just escape me sometimes, but I'm glad to have you confirm that for me. You like the way the sentiment looks? Yes, Allison. Hi, good to see you. That, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, um, they had the power company has told us that there may be rolling blackouts starting at four o'clock today and it's just now four so if by chance they do a rolling blackout here in Escondido in my area and I go off I'll just stay off the air because I think it has to be they're gonna keep it off for an hour or two or something it may not happen but I just want to give you that warning okay so we're gonna start this card like this now the way the backing that I'm putting on here the pretty backing to our tag and I've gone ahead and done it to save time is an embossed piece of soft succulent cardstock embossed in this pretty flowers embossing folder it's new with the annual catalog and it's really really pretty and you can see it on here how pretty that looks isn't that there's a lot you can do with this but I thought the the contrasting colors just look good so I'm just going to glue this on with my multi-purpose glue and the other side is great too. You know a lot of times with embossed uh, pieces sometimes I don't even know which which side is up but there is a way to tell with the Stampin' Up! embossing folders. I'm going to show you here in a second as soon as I glue this down. Okay and the way to tell with the Stampin' Up! embossing folders is that the upward side is where the Stampin' Up! insignia is. So you put your paper logo. You put your paper in here and then this will be the top of your embossed piece. 
but it doesn't preclude you from actually using the back side because the, a lot of the back sides are pretty too. Now, on top of this, I'm placing a piece of designer series paper. This is from the, I think it's Pansy Petals. I always kind of forget that. Pansy Petals designer series paper. On the back are some cute little pansies, but I am loving the gingham. There are three different colors of gingham in the Pansy Petals. Uh, designer series paper so if you like this paper grab it in July while it's 15% off instead of 1150 I think it's nine something and it's a good price and if you like it get a couple of them while you're at it that's what I've done I've gotten two of several of my favorites okay so we're just gonna put this um, and you just are gonna with on stamp and dimensionals and set in the middle as much as you can get it from side to side and top to bottom. Okay, now we're ready to cut our tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my words first so that um, then I can cut the tag to fit the words. So I'm going to start with the lighter color for the block letters. I'm gonna get out a uh, stamp and pierce mat so I have good uh, cushioning under there and this is the word happy I've been using it the past few days with um, rich razzleberry and um, fresh freesia and it's the stamp itself is turning pink doesn't make doesn't have anything to do with how it stamps but it just shows the colors you've been using right okay so now we're going to cut this out so we don't have to be particularly even, but I'm going to try to get it right in the center. Okay, there's our block letter, happy. Our block word, excuse me, word. And now I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry. <clears throat> it has the same yellow, I think it's kind of a yellowish tone, that or pinky tone that the Fresh Freesia does. It's a different tone than Highland Heather. They don't go to as, together as well. So that's why I've used these two colors. So now I've well inked the word birthday. And the only trick here is um, you want to see if you can get birthday fairly straight on that blocked word happy with the same, you know, a letter and a half or so sticking out on both sides. So let's see if we can do it. Isn't that great? I really, this is just such a fun stamp set. I am wondering if it's not gonna be one of their most popular stamp sets. Okay, now we're going to cut this with our mini boss. Let's get our mini boss out here. And my dies, I'm gonna use the largest of the dies on the right, what I've got them on the right side. It has a little more design on the top. And I'm going to put my piece of paper through. Looks like I got a bit of ink over there. You know, I'm going to trim this down a little. I thought I had my paper um, narrow enough to go through the mini boss, but I, I don't want it to get stuck. So I'm just going to trim it down a bit. And put our die right here. Let's see, I think I want the die going this way because I want the little circle, the little um, hole on the tag to be on the left. So now we're gonna put our top piece on, our top plate, number two plate. And we're gonna run that through the mini boss. set him aside and now we've got our tag look how cute that came out isn't that just adorable I mean this uh, the stamp set works on anything but I think it's particularly great on on the tags because it really highlights the tags so now all we need to do is um, put our tag there on stamp and dimensionals we'll raise that up again and put our dimensionals in a little bit Kind of like this try to get it to kind of balance there you like the way the sentiment looks hi Diane Emerson hadn't seen you 
Yeah, rolling blackouts, Linda. Yeah. They warn us, which is a good thing, and it, I don't think it'll be longer than a couple of hours when it does happen. Okay, so now we just want to center our tag as much as possible, and it's easy to do on the gingham because the lines really help that. Perfect. Now, we're, what I'm going to do is, you can do anything. You could leave it without a bow, but I thought since it's a feminine card, I'm going to uh, put a, a pretty coordinating fresh freesia bow on there, and I'm going to adhere it with um, mini glue dots rather than to pull it through and tie it. I think I can get it to set on there and look the way I want it to. Uh, better if I use the mini tie it separately and use the mini glue dots. Do you find that too when you're working with your bows? If you don't have to tie them onto something, it's it's real handy to use the glue dots. Okay. And remember, work with your bows to get them exactly the way you want to get them. Forgot to get out my glue dots here. Let's trim our little tails. Now we don't need to have real long tails. You know I like long tails, but we don't need to do them today. We just want to make sure our bow kind of frames the left side of the tag there. So let's get some little mini glue dots. Well, I think I'm going to actually put them right on the fabric and see if I can get them to pull up that way. Yes, excellent. Here's another one right here. Okay, now let's get this bow pressed down there. I'll turn it so that maybe you can see it a little better. And I'm going to put the knot of the bow right over the hole in the tag, just like that. Now I may go back and put some little mini glue dots um, under the tails, but I don't think I need to for right now. I think that's looking pretty good. I did want to stamp my envelope with the word birthday and stamp the inside of my card with the word birthday. Now I'll tell you, beware of Blackberry Bliss ink. If any of you have played with it before, beware. It is bright and it seems to get in places you don't want it to go. I'm just going to say that much, okay? So here's our word birthday. Now you could go ahead and do the same thing inside. You could do the happy birthday inside the same way you did on the outside, or you could reverse it. There are a lot of different things that you can do. Ah, I got a little, see what I mean? I got a little ink right on that corner there. I've got my old jeans, so I'm just gonna, don't tell anyone, I'm gonna rub it on my old jeans. But I don't let anyone know that, okay? You don't know that. And I thought it'd just be nice to put the word birthday out here on the envelope. Isn't that cute? I think that is, I really like the tags and I really like the stamp set. Um, and, I, and I wanted to show, show it to you because I wasn't sure if you guys had seen this. And it is such a versatile set. Now we're gonna go on to the more uh, masculine card, which is this one. And we're going to do that a little differently. Some things the same, some not. But first, I need to clean my um, stamps. And today I've got my chamois. Uh, it's the, called the Simply Chamois, and I've got it wet. And it's dirty, but that's okay. You can rinse it out, and it'll never get completely clean. So you just use it like that. You have to get over that. But it works really well for a quick clean. I usually go back later and use my scrub, um, let's see, scrub something, I can't remember the exact name, but it has the spray which conditions your stamps. But in between stamping like this, I just use this Simply Chamois. Show the set again, yes, of course. It's, it's called Biggest Wish, and you know what, I had it, thanks Allison for asking. Um, I had it tagged here. Here it is in our annual catalog. It's just a stamp set, no dies, and it's it's only $17. Very inexpensive, biggest wish. 
Here are two sample cards that they've done. They've made a tag here also. And they use probably Daffodil Delight underneath and maybe um, Coastal Cabana on the top. And then here they've used it at the top of a card, just the word thanks. So biggest wish. And then let me go ahead and show you what else I had um, tagged here. Here is the Simply Shammy. It's not much. It's on, it's on page 145 and it is only $8.00. The only thing is, in this warm weather, it will not stay moist all day. I keep it in a little clear uh, stamp case that I can that you can buy also, and I wet it and set it in here. But even within a few hours, in the in the high heat, um, and we have a little drier heat here, it'll dry out, and you need to go back and wet it again. And then, here on page one sixty six of the annual catalog. These are the tailor-made tags, and they're inexpensive also. As dies go, $22, because many of the, this one down here, some of them are $36, but this, a tailor-made tag set is only $22. And I, I can't even tell you how versatile I think it's going to be. Okay, now let's, we've cleaned our stamps, so now we can get on to our masculine card. And so here we have a piece of crumb cake cardstock. The card base again is cut at four and a quarter by eleven, and scored at five and a half. Um, okay, this is the simply chamois. The scrub that I use, Allison, is this one here. This is called. Uh, Number two, let me see, Stamp and Scrub is what I do later, which is a little case that opens up and you can squirt the spray on it, which is right here on page 145, and then you rub your stamps on that on the wet side and then you dry them. And that conditions them. So when I'm all done at the end of the day, I usually set all my used stamps out here and then I go through and do the Stamp and Scrub. Okay, back to our masculine card crumb cake. Now on top of crumb cake, I'm going to put a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock. I think men like kind of tan and brown and blue, and I thought this would work well for a guy. And then I used our brick and mortar 3D embossing folder, and it is brick. It has a brick look. You can't see it too well there, but I think you can on the, there you go, on the actual piece of cardstock. So that is, I thought, well, we didn't want to do flowers for a guy, right? So we're going to do brick for a guy. And I'm happy to have these because we, it's so nice to have a couple of guy cards in your, in your collection. And when a guy has a birthday, boom, you're just ready to, ready to send it out. And a couple girl cards also. Okay, so we're going to set set that, adhere it with multi-purpose glue. Then what I've done for this one, the background designer series paper I'm using is um, In Good Taste. And that's another one that's on sale this month. And this is from the annual catalog. Actually, it was carried over from last year because it's so fabulous. It's just um, interesting texture. They're not, it, not textured feeling, but textured uh, looking um, car, uh, designer series paper and I believe you get 48, 48 pieces in your uh, package of designer series paper. It's a fabulous set and so we could use that. That kind of goes along. There's brick. It kind of goes along with our brick but I chose to use this piece here which is kind of like painting or maybe um, I don't know painting and it, it does have the uh, misty moonlight color in it so that's why I wanted to use this piece. It's three and a quarter by three and a quarter if I didn't say that before and now I'm just going to put this up on dimensionals also. I think it holds the tag up nicely. I like that it lifts the tag. So, but it has lots of this this package of designer series paper has lots of great backgrounds. 
Okay, so I want to do it so that I think I get the biggest amount of blue that's going to show above the tag. And I think that's the way it might work with this one. So there we go. Now this tag, we're going to, instead of a white tag, we're going to have a tan, a uh, crumb cake tan, tag. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our happy, our big block happy, with crumb cake ink. And then we're going to use the misty moonlight uh, on top of it. So I want to be sure and get plenty of ink on here. Let's confirm. We can always turn it over if we don't get it. I always tell myself that. <laughs> okay, where's my... I want to get my stamp and pierce mat because I want this to really... Hey, Robin, good to see you. I want this to really um, get a nice dark color and crumb cake is not known as a dark color, but anyway, let's see if we can get it to work. Yes, exactly what I'd hoped. Using the stamp and pierce mat really does make a difference. It really does in getting a clarity of your to your photopolymer stamps. And now we're going to go with Misty Moonlight for the word birthday, the more um, cursive. If you're a teacher, you use the word cursive, I think. Do they even teach cursive anymore? I don't even think they do. Yes, Allison, the Stamparatus would be great. I agree. That would be great. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get birthday right in the center aligned over that. And there we go. Happy birthday. <clears throat> I seriously love the stamp set. And I'll hold this up closer to you so that you can see a little better how it looks. Isn't that neat? The trick is the, the block letters in the back should be lighter, in a lighter color than the letters in the front. So now we're gonna cut this out. I've got everything piled up over here. Whoops, you can see it, hear it dropping. And we're gonna get our number one plate and one number two plate. And then we're gonna put our paper and our tag die and our second number two plate again this is the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine which works perfectly for cases like this where I'm sitting at my desk and this way I don't go have to go over to my table or bring in my big machine And here's our cute little tag. I love it. I just love it. All right, now we're ready to put this over the front of our card, but this time, you know, men don't like ribbons, right? I mean, men don't usually want a ribbon on their card, so I thought I would put some twine, some baker's twine. And it's kind of curly and it's going to have long tails, so I have a little solution for that. Um, so a guy doesn't think it's real, like, too feminine, too curly, or anything like that. So I'm going to tie it, double it in half, pull the center through from the back, and then you have this kind of a tag. And then after I adhere this with dimensionals, I'm going to tuck it up under there. So let's get out our dimensionals. I think it's fun to see how you can use this stamp set for, any, for anything. For guys and gals, it's not too sweet, it's not too masculine. Just a plain old happy birthday, but a big one. Okay, so now we're going to center this just like that. And now what I'm going to do, what I did with the other one, is I just tucked it. I think I might trim the ends off a little bit. Just a little. Okay. But I'm going to tuck it under here so you can see that it does have 
a little something going through the hole. I mean, the die cuts the hole, so I didn't really want to leave the hole empty. And then I just tuck those tails right up under there like that. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp our ins Oh, I forgot the inside of the card. I thought I had a piece of, I thought I had cut a piece of white to go inside, but I guess I didn't. So on my other card, I did put a piece of basic white card stock and put birthday. I'll have to go back and do it on this one. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and put the word birthday in the misty, misty moonlight? Misty Moonlight color, and we'll just put this on the outside so that the guy that gets it is gonna know it's his birthday card. Isn't that, I think that, I love the bold, the big bold, you know, it just says, just says it like it is. Do you like the masculine card, Robin? Thank you so much, I do too. Okay, so here's the masculine, and here's the feminine. Let me see if I can get those just so you can see them. And I hope you can see how much fun this set is going to be. I, I actually just got it a week ago and I'm really excited that I got it. And so I'm gonna be using it all the time. Christmas is gonna be fun. We can say happy and put Christmas, even though it's not in the set, we can find another you know, we can find the word Christmas. I think we're gonna enjoy the tags. I think we're gonna enjoy the stamp set. Let us let me just come back here and tell you, thank you for stopping by today. Now, don't forget the Designer Series paper sale is on for the whole month, 15% off all the ones I've used today and eight other, seven others because nine in total. Um, new catalogs I'll be mailing next week. Let me know if you want one and get ready for my paper shares for the new catalog. I'm gonna do paper shares and ribbon shares. So be thinking about those. I'm gonna be getting those ready to go also next week. I have a lot to do next week. I might try to start it this weekend. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Wednesday. Okay, bye.